Hey there, it's Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is a hand woven experience, episode 48. And in this episode, well, we're having a party. It has been exactly one year since I did my very first a hand woven experience video. Can you believe that? One year already. So this episode is going to be a love note from current me to the 2020 me with a little list of things that I've learned over the past year. So just in case you haven't been with me from the beginning, this is a little glimpse of what the very first episode looked like. Everyone has to start somewhere, right? So here is my short list of things I would tell my former self. Number one, turn the camera. I did the very first one in a portrait setting and I just like the landscape better things you learn. I think I only did it for the very first episode, but turn the camera. Number two, little lipstick is a good idea. I know it's not for everyone, but for me, I like it. It makes my face pop a little bit. Don't you agree? Little lipstick. Number three, clean the lens. See, I do these recordings just on my phone and I found that after a while, the recording was looking kind of fuzzy and I realized that I had just smudged the lens on my phone. Silly. It was an easy fix though and something that I'll definitely I always watch out for now. Number four. I don't know if you can see in the picture but I am wearing a cast. I had broken my wrist a year ago and seemed like a lot of drama at the time and I would just tell my former self that it'll be okay. The wrist is all good now. In no time it'll be just a distant memory. Number, let's see, five. There are endless topics. In the beginning, I was very concerned that I was going to run out of things to talk about. <laughs> that seems silly now, doesn't it? I've learned that as long as I keep my eyes and ears open, there are plenty of things to address in the weaving world. That's part of the beauty of it. It's so big and broad and there's lots, lots to talk about. And the last thing I would tell my former self is to have fun. I was a little intimidated being in front of the camera, I gotta say, at the very beginning. I kept thinking, how do I get the information across while still making it seem personable? And through a lot of practice, I'm getting there. It's still something that I think about before I tape each video, but I would tell my former self to just have a good time. Present the information, be yourself, and enjoy the process. So that is my list of things that I've learned over the last year. And if I could go back in time, I might uh, tell my 2020 self a few of those little nuggets going into it. So happy one year anniversary to a hand woven experience. It has been a blast. I hope this is the first of a lot of anniversaries to come. So have a great week, my friends. Happy weaving.